Okay. Um, what we talked about was we talked about identity matrix and inverse matrix. Okay, if I talk about an identity, um, it means something that you can do on a number that isn't going to change its identity. Um, if you have like a four, what can I add to a four and have it not change the identity? Zero. Zero, okay? So it maintains its identity. Same thing with multiplication. What's something I can multiply by four and have it not change its identity? One. one. Okay. So one is basically what I guess we could call our identity number. Well, every matrix has an identity matrix, a matrix that if you multiply by it, it's not going to change its identity. So I'm going to have, let's say I have a, a two by two matrix. Okay, does one ever change? Is it, you know, anything I multiply a number by that I want to maintain its identity, aren't I always going to multiply it by one? Okay, same thing here. There's always a matrix, and that the identity of that matrix doesn't change. So what we call, the name of it is our identity matrix, or an I. Every single time. It looks like that if it's a two by two. Now, if you think about multiplying, remember, and I guess I can just prove it to you, I'm going to go row by column. Two times one is two. Negative one times zero is zero. Correct? Well, actually, I'm plusing that. Okay, let me scoot it over. All right, then I'm going to go to the next row. Two times zero is zero plus negative one times one which is negative 1, right? Okay, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 4 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 4 times 1 is 4. Okay, when I do the math, I get 2, negative 1, 3, and 4. Well, looks like that to me, doesn't it? Okay, it literally, every single time, if you multiply this times a matrix, it's not going to change the matrix. Well, what happens if you have a bigger matrix? Cheat over here. Um, what if I had... that matrix? Now, the only time I can have an identity matrix is if it's a square matrix. It has to be a 2 by 2, a 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 25 by 25, okay? There's got to be a matrix that I can multiply that by and have it maintain its identity. That matrix... Ooh, really? ...is the same as this, except for I add on to it. I add another one. I always have diagonal of ones, okay, every single time. So all I can do, you know, you count the number of rows you should have, put the diagonals of one, and fill in zeros everywhere else. Works every time. That is still the identity matrix. It just is the identity matrix for a three by three matrix. If I had a four by four matrix, what would I do? One. I'd add another one. Okay, so here we go. I'm adding on. Okay, there's my fourth. All these are zeros. That's a zero. That's a zero. And that's a zero. Now I have a four by four identity matrix. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so in light of that, that's kind of what leads us into the concept of an inverse. So, if I said 4 times 1 equals 4, I would have to be able to multiply 4 by something and have it equal 1. I have to be able to multiply it by something to equal 1. So, what can I multiply 4 by to equal 1? 1 fourth. 1 fourth. Okay, 4 times 1 fourth equals 1. This is called the inverse of that. Okay, inverse just means it's flipped. Okay, it's put underneath 1. Well, I can do the same thing with a matrix. I can have an inverse of a matrix. 
So basically what I'm saying is, let's go back to an easy matrix here. There's got to be a matrix that I multiply that by that's got to give me the identity matrix. Just like I multiplied 4 times 1 fourth and it gave me 1. Okay? Let's say this is A. This is going to be the inverse of A. And of course, A to the negative first power is the same thing as an inverse because it's like, it's almost like you're putting it underneath 1. Okay? Um, there is a way by hand to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. It's the only kind we found the inverse of. If you have a 3 by 3 matrix, what you're going to do is you're going to put the matrix into your calculator. You're going to select the matrix and you're going to hit that button. Okay? Because that's going to take the inverse of it. Okay? You with me? Okay. But a 2 by 2, we know how to do it by hand. This is probably where you got lost on the video. Okay? 2 by 2, so here's my matrix. I want to find the inverse of this matrix. Okay, so with my scrap paper over to the side, didn't have anything to do with the problem. I'm going to, this is the pattern for finding the inverse of a 2 by 2. I go 1 over the determinant of this matrix times, now watch, I'm going to switch these two, so 3 and 2, they just switch places. Then I'm going to take the opposite of these two. So that positive 4 becomes a negative 4. That negative 2 becomes a positive 2. Okay? So then I, when I take the, I find the determinant, remember, 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So I have a 6 minus a negative 8. That's 1 over 14, guys. Okay? So this is the same thing as 14. Okay, so now I'm just going, okay, you know what? All I have to do is multiply across here. So when I multiply 1 14th times 3, I get 3 14ths. When I multiply 1 14th times 2, I get 1 7th because I have to reduce it down. 1 14th times negative 4, I get a negative 2 over 7 because I have to reduce it down. 1 14th times 2, again, is 1 7th. Guess what? If I took this matrix right here, 3 fourteenths, 1 seventh, negative 2 sevenths, and 1 seventh, and I multiply these two, that's what I would get. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so this, if you did your calculator, if you just put that into your calculator, and you put it in like as matrix A, and then you select matrix A, and you hit that X to the negative first power, or you can just raise it to the negative one power. It does the same thing. And I hit enter. <clears throat> I'm going to get decimal values for this, but if I turn around and hit math, and hit fraction, and hit enter again, it's going to put it in that form right there. Okay? Does that kind of make sense? Okay, we're going to actually use this today, but the homework had to do with doing this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the homework, okay? Make more sense to both of you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop this video.